I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, Tigers! It's Tuesday, April 23rd, and it's the first of two V-Days in a row. Right about now, half of you are celebrating and the other half are probably groaning. It's also the day after Earth Day, or as our legislature calls it, Environmental Awareness Day. Mr. Lobenside shared this great quote from Aldo Leopold, the Wisconsin environmentalist who heavily influenced the founder of Earth Day, Gaylord Nelson. We'll end the announcements with a PSA from the Green Team. Prom is almost upon us. Do you plan on bringing a guest to prom who either goes to another school or is a former student? If so, then be sure to pick up a form on the table outside of the office and get it filled out and turned in no later than Wednesday by the end of the school day. If you do not complete and turn in a form on time for your guests, then they will not be allowed into the dance. No exceptions. Contact Mr. Stahlheim with questions regarding the form. Ready for the AP test? Not quite yet. AP students, on Wednesday and Thursday during Lunch and Learn, Ms. Leadholm will be meeting with AP students to fill in their pre-test bubble work. Come to the counseling office during either L&L &L time slot and fill out your answer documents before the AP test begins. It is a requirement for the bubble work to be completed prior to testing. Here's one for Ho-Chunk students. Ho-Chunk Higher Education wants to help you prepare for college. They will be coming to school tomorrow during Lunch and Learn to talk about summer enrichment programs and planning a college visit. Pizza and soda will be provided, so you need to sign up in the counseling office today to show your interest. This is going to be a great workshop, so sign up today. Okay, one more thing. This one is just as important as the rest. Remember the blood drive is today. If you still want to donate but don't have a scheduled time, email Maggie Rue for a walk-in time. Have a great day, Tigers! Bye! In 1969, Americans started caring about their environment. It began with the Cuyahoga River fire in Cleveland, Ohio. Actually, the river had started on fire nine times previous to 1969, but this time it was caught on nightly news. This was a time of no air pollution laws, and acid rain was making lakes sterile in Maine and Wisconsin. DDT was being used as a pesticide, but it not only killed the pests, it caused a near extirpation of the bald eagle and the peregrine falcon in North America. There was a huge oil spill in Santa Barbara. This was also the time of protests against the Vietnam War for equal rights. It was the time of the hippie. A senator from Wisconsin named Gaylord Nelson organized a nationwide grassroots demonstration to protect the environment known as Earth Day. This was before social media. He used phones and word of mouth. It is now celebrated worldwide on April 22nd. The first Earth Day had over 2,000 colleges, 10,000 primary and secondary schools, and hundreds of communities. Even Black River Falls School District participated. The results of Earth Day were a Clean Air Act, laws to protect drinking water, wild lands, oceans, the National Environmental Policy Act, and the creation of the Environmental Protection Agency. The theme for Earth Day in 2019 is Protect Your Species. This week, the Green Team encourages you to help protect our species by cleaning up our school campus with Ms. Canoto Hour 4 or Mr. Lobenstein Hour 5 today, Tuesday. Buy a metal straw for a dollar from the Green Team during lunch, walk or ride your bike to school, or just make some greener choices.